welcome back guys today we will be continuing our video lectures on infinite series so today we will be learning about limit of a sequence so let me define it so let xn be a sequence of real number then it is said to have a limit that is L if for Cylon is equals to zero there exists a positive integer M which will depend that is depending on Cylon so from this the mathematical expression is xn minus l will always be less than Cylon for all n must greater than equals to m so so write a note here note so since in the case of any infinite sequence limit is always taken upon n and also tending towards infinity so we can write the above limit as so we can write the above limit as limit xn is equals to 0 no need to write that n is tending to infinity so I hope this this definition is very complicated so to understand this let us take on example which will clear it very easily so example find limit n tending to infinity x of n where x of n within bracket second brackets is 1 upon n so now to calculate solution first of all we need to figure calculate this in rough this is the procedure so limit n tending to infinity 1 upon n so putting the value infinity here it will get 0 so this is our L so this is our L so now write this form xn xn is 1 upon n minus 0 which is that is equals to 1 by n clearing the mods and all that so this must be less than Cylon this must be less than Cylon so now we have to write like this now we have to check now if 1 upon Cylon is less than n therefore then n must be greater than 1 upon Cylon this is the same thing so let us consider it as m let so now hence we get that 1 upon n minus 0 less than Cylon for all n greater than equals to only greater than no equals to sign here it was, for, it was a general definition either greater than or equals to so it was uh, n is greater than n that is limit n tending to infinity 1 upon n is equals to 0 so this is our answer we'll write check another example find limit xn equals to n upon n plus 1 this is also simple now again we will do the same as you have done the above so first we will calculate the rough answer that is limit n tending to infinity n upon n plus 1 so to calculate the limit of this we need to simplify it so n plus 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 so this will be 1 plus limit n tending to infinity 1 minus 1 of n plus 1 this will get 0 so answer our L is 1 which is L so this is our rough so now 
now we have to write as you have to write written in a verb so n upon n plus 1 minus l which is that which will be less than silon first we need to clear this mod so this sorry this will be 1 so this will be n upon n minus n minus 1 taking the lcm n plus 1 so this will be minus 1 of n plus 1 so this will be 1 n plus 1 less than silon so now again we'll write that check the condition if 1 upon silon is less than n plus 1 n plus 1 will be greater than 1 upon silon and n will be greater than 1 upon silon minus 1 that will be m let so now hence we get n upon n plus 1 minus 1 is less than silon for all n greater than m you have to write all these steps so that is limit n tending to infinity n upon n plus 1 will be equals to 1 so this is our answer now let us see another example to get it more clear For example find limit of the sequence find limit of sequence xn is equals to n minus 1 upon 2n so first of all again we'll do calculate the rough answer so this will be n minus 1 upon 2n that is limit n tending to infinity so simplifying this taking half common means this will be half limit n tending to infinity 1 upon 1 minus n basically I remove this half so now putting the values this will be half as this will be 0 this is our L now uh, what we do is like n minus 1 upon 2n minus half so now we will calculate the mod taking half outside of the mod n minus 1 upon n minus 1 now this will be half taking LCM this will be like this so this will come out as half 2n this is less than Cylon now if 1 upon Cylon is less than 2n therefore 2n will be greater than 1 upon Cylon n will be greater than 1 upon 2 Cylon which is our m let now the final step hence we get n, min, uh, n minus 1 upon 2n minus l that is half is less than Cylon so for all n greater than m n greater than m so that is now we'll write the limit n tending to infinity n minus 1 upon 2n is equals to half so this is our answer so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you